Hello, my name is Roddy Miranda, and I'm an applications engineer for the Haptics Group. If you are watching this video, then you have found TI's new high voltage piezoelectric driver, the DRV2700. The DRV2700 is a single chip piezo driver with an integrated 105 volt boost switch, integrated power diode, and integrated fully differential amplifier. This IC is intended for driving piezoelectric loads in a variety of applications, including piezo sounders, positioning actuators, transducers, micro pumps, and many more. The DRV2700 has two separate evaluation modules, or EVMs, that use this IC in two different configurations. The first EVM, the DRV2700 EVM, is the boost plus amplifier configuration that will support plus and minus 100 volts from a differential output. A solution size of 9 by 13 millimeters is highlighted on the silk screen. The second EVM, the DRV2700 EVM HV500, will support 0 to 500 volts from a single ended output. A solution size of 14 by 14.5 millimeter is highlighted on the silk screen. Each of these EVMs can be powered from a typical USB power source or an external power supply. Additionally, these EVMs have a TI microcontroller, the MSP430F5510, as means to be controlled through USB HID communication. Out of the box, each of these EVMs come with a mini Type B USB cable. Additionally, a graphical user interface, or GUI, can be downloaded from TI.com. After installing the GUI, make sure the default jumpers are set accordingly to the user's guide and then plug in the EVM. Run the GUI and use the USB HID communication settings and the software will identify the connected board. Each EVM will have a similar GUI with the main page very similar. As you notice, both GUIs have a frequency and boost voltage percentage slider. These are the fundamental controls of the GUI and the remaining features are just using these in different manners. These slider controls the frequency and duty cycle of the PWM signal coming from the microcontroller. Since both EVMs have a low pass filter this signal must propagate through, the signal will become attenuated accordingly. This attenuated signal is the input control to the DRV2700. The remaining sections of the DRV2700 EVM GUI include gain control, enable control, on off timer control, high voltage indicator, and a reference to the jumper settings on the board. On the second tab, there is a piano that sends set frequencies at 50% duty cycle based on notes and a text box so that you can create a string of frequencies or notes with on and off timers. If the DRV2700 EVM HV500 GUI is being used, then you will notice toggle settings to set frequencies based on the type of signal desired. Also, the reference table has been updated to the switch settings for the DRV2700 EVM HV500. The second tab is used for creating specific waveforms. There are some quick buttons for standard waveforms or a more complex waveform can be built using the text box. Each point will set the PWM duty cycle to that value. For example, if the impulse button is pressed, a series of 1, 99, and 1 will be sent with the time between each of these points equal to the time step box. At this time, no more than 200 points can be sent and therefore a repeat function is added. This wraps up the quick tutorial video, but more details of the DRV2700 and these EVMs can be found at the following URLs. Thanks for watching.